There was another time we together decided that everyone needed to look like Carol Lombard or something and have like really skinny eyebrows. And the next thing I knew, he was plucking everybody's eyebrows. He had like a dentist chair and he used to, you know, he had the most, the hugest hands. And he'd lie me down and pin, like pin me and then pluck out all my eyebrows. And really tilt the head down, go kind of quickly and then smile. And he was like, don't worry, don't worry, I'll dye them back. And then he dyed them back, but it was left on for too long. And um, they were scab. My eyebrows were scabs. I had scabs for eyebrows. You know, you're getting your hair done, and there's people coming in and out. So you're, you're not really paying attention. And I went home, washed my face, and I looked like a girl on the back of a milk carton who they had reconstructed their face, and they never put the eyebrows on. I had no eyebrows left. She was freaked out because her agent saw her and he was like, what have you done? I just booked you, blah, 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 blah. And it was a real crisis for Cindy's whole career. And then literally overnight, somehow it just changed and she started getting more bookings because she had skinny eyebrows. And she actually reached back out and was like, I'm really sorry, thank you, this was everything. And everybody started tweezing their eyebrows. 